Tighten the Gobi 2 around your wrist so the detectors have close contact with your skin. This is vital for gathering information about your body. Gobi 2 will notify you if there's no close skin contact with a no contact message and vibration every 15 seconds until fastened the right way. Gobi 2 will shut down automatically after 5 minutes if there is still no contact. The sensors need time to establish a connection with your skin to make accurate calculations. GoB2's calculations can vary during the customization period, so we recommend that you wear your smart band for at least 30 to 60 minutes before a meal. If you'll put on your smart band right before having a meal, the chances are that it will not have an opportunity to adjust itself, and the probability of incorrect calculations will rise. What affects accurate measurements? Be sure that your account data is up to date. Update your information, e.g. your weight, if it has changed. Moisturizing creams and or oils, scars, tattoos, or abundant hair growth under the smart band could negatively affect sensor accuracy. Accuracy can be negatively affected by having conditions that differ from average physiological norm. For example, if you didn't sleep at night, changed your time zone, or if you are having unusually high levels of stress, the accuracy can be challenged. GoB2 is adjusted to a balanced diet so your measurements can vary while on the keto program or any other strict diet, or while fasting. GoB2 is tracking nutrients, proteins, and fat with the help of measuring the effects of energy and glucose accumulation and consumption by your body. Sports supplements like proteins and isolates will be present in the calorie intake overview, but not as nutrients. Regarding alcohol, GoB2 recognizes only calories ingested from carbohydrates, but not from the alcohol itself. While ingesting alcohol, please keep in mind that it's higher in caloric value than the value displayed by GoB2. We don't recommend GoB2 to people who suffer from diseases that affect the water balance of the body, heart diseases, or metabolic disorders, e.g. diabetes, hepatitis, obesity, kidney diseases, or hormonal disorders. Taking medications that affect water balance, the heart, or metabolic system can affect GoB2's accuracy. GoB2 should not be used if the user is experiencing acute pain or a temperature above 37.5 Celsius, or the device will give an inadequate assessment. It should be removed during the recovery period. Cold climate, tropical climate, abnormally dry or moist air, or unusual atmospheric pressure can affect the accuracy of the GoB2. Please keep in mind that GoB2 is not a medical device. Please consult your doctor or a healthcare specialist so they can answer your questions regarding health precautions while dieting or doing sports activities. How to charge GoB2 The best time to charge your smart band is in the morning before breakfast. We recommend putting it on at least 30 minutes before eating or in the evening, three to four hours after dinner. These charging recommendations will give your GoB2 the maximum amount of information about your caloric intake. If charged daily, GoB2 can be fully charged in 45 minutes. Don't use SmartBand GoB2 in salt water, as it will damage the device. It's waterproof for showering and swimming in fresh water, but we don't recommend wearing it to swim in the sea. Wipe your GoB2 with a cloth after intense workouts to prevent allergic reactions. Please use Q-tips for cleaning the contacts at least once a week. Using microfiber cloths is preferred. Please be careful of the contacts while wiping. You can use any other soft material that wouldn't damage the device. What to do if Allergic reaction it is necessary for correct operation of GoB2 that the sensor of the device is in close contact with the user's skin. A small percentage of people experience slight irritation in the zone of direct contact of the device. If you experience symptoms such as redness or swelling of the wrist, immediately stop wearing GoB2. Wash the affected area with soap and water and clean the device according to the instructions on the site. For this, use a clean, damp cloth or alcohol-containing cloth to wipe the bottom of the body where the device touches your skin. Symptoms should disappear within one to two days. To minimize such risks, take care of the device according to the user guide. Bluetooth and internet connections must be stable during synchronization. Place the phone near the device and do not exit the application until synchronization is complete. If all conditions are met and the synchronization is not completed, try the following steps. 
Close the application window and start it again. If the problem persists, restart the wrist strap, restart the application, and then try again. Please check if the film is removed from the back of the body of the device. Also, make sure that you do not put the bracelet with the docking station on your arm. Tighten the wrist strap for maximum contact with the skin.